Now new at 530, Pittsburgh City Council voted today to protect exotic animals by banning certain tools and instruments used to handle them. Animal rights activists say it was the right thing to do. But some local circus leaders say the move could put their shows in jeopardy. Lynn Hayes Freeland explains. An unfamiliar sight outside of the city county building. Clowns in full costume carrying signs of protest. The issue, an ordinance before city council on the use of tools for training wild or exotic animals. Inside, a packed house with plenty of public comments before a vote. This ordinance is a national effort to discredit the very people that care for exotic animals. Before you pass this or ordinance, take the time to visit the Pittsburgh Zoo. My granddaughter loves the circus. She can't wait to see the circus again. And you are depriving her of that and her children. All based on an ideology that has nothing to do with animal welfare. Council President Bruce Krause brought the bill to council initially proposing a ban on shows with live animals. Now, two revisions later, council is voting on a bill that makes it unlawful to use tools like bull hooks baseball bats or any other instrument that inflicts pain, intimidates or threatens pain to control or train wild or exotic animals. I go over it in my mind again and again and again and again and again and I can't find a justification for a cattle prod or a bull hook or a hacksaw um, or um, a baseball bat ever around an animal for the purpose of training or discipline. Having then received the legally required number of votes is finally passed. Fight against children, you're sick. The final vote of 643 against struck an emotional chord with members of Pittsburgh Shriners community that had argued without the use of certain tools required by their insurance carriers, the future of the Shriner Circus could end up in jeopardy. If our kids don't have a zoo to go to and they don't have a circus to go to, it's against kids. These animals are not having fun. They are working surely out of fear. So how soon will the changes take effect? Well, the mayor has 10 days to sign off on the bill, so we could see the changes as early as 2018. Lynn Hayes Freeland, KDK TV News.